this, oh, here we go. This is similar to what we looked at earlier. It's got these kind of rounded nests, kind of like that first case I showed you of the kind of clonal looking Bowens disease or squamous I2, but these are very bland. And in the background, things look very much like a seborrheic keratosis. So this is a clonal seborrheic keratosis. Usually it's easy to recognize it, but sometimes the clones look very striking and very discreet, like these little nodules look very cut off from the rest and, and give you right away that feeling of like, ooh, squam in situ and get you worried. So they can be really sharply demarcated. Uh, but most of the time, if you look around, you'll find other areas that look like obvious seb. If you need, you can try stains, but usually I feel like you just gotta look on H&E and decide if it's atypical or not. To me though, this is a nice example, very bland, and this is clonal seborrheic keratosis, kind of a flat seborrheic keratosis in this case. Good, good entity to be familiar with. We see this regularly.